You're listening to 91.1 The Avenue. This is Anne, and this is The Avenue's Mile of Music coverage. In studio with me right now is Melissa Freeman. Melissa works with Mile of Music Productions. That all came about from attending and volunteering. It did. And um, I had been teaching for a number of years and had my summers, some summer opportunities. So um, through the years, as each mile went on, I spent more and more of my summer as a volunteer and helping out with a lot of logistic things that was just so wonderful and such a way to feel part of the festival. I clearly remember standing on East College Avenue looking west on a Saturday, all of those people on the street and realizing that I had touched every badge, every lanyard, every T-shirt that I could see within my field of vision. Oh, my word. Right. It was just wonderful. <laughs> I know that you help a lot with selling the artist's merchandise, which I do. helps them, and that's a big part of um, the benefit from them coming Two Mile of Music is um, people buy their music. You, you've you seen some things up close, I imagine. I have. And first-time artists to the area are always surprised at how loyal and supportive um, our community fans are. They sell more merchandise here than in many other places. And that's something that is very helpful to them, particularly coming off of the year that we've all just come off. Any artists that you've gotten to know particularly well or um, any stories you could share from your perch at the merch table or uh, behind the scenes? Well, last mile at mile seven, I helped out Sarah Potenza with her merch and was able to sell for her the whole time. And it was fun to get to know her and Ian and her crew and you know, that energy that she has is as big as that voice, and For it was sure. wonderful. For listeners who may not know um, Sarah Potenza, she is somebody from The Voice. She made it pretty far on The Voice, um, and everything about her is larger than life. Yes. Her voice, her personality, her kind energy. Her style. Her style. Oh, yes. Talk about sartorial style, yes. right? <laughs> yes. Um, amazing. She's flashy, bold, and just very empowering to yes. see her. That must have been a trip, working closely with her. Very fun. Yeah. Very fun. Yes, absolutely. Uh, have there been any musicians, uh, others that stand out as discovery or, or fun to have seen or anything behind the scenes? I remember my first um, my first mile, mile three, I was at the PAC and I was helping facilitate entrance into the artist lounge for food. And um, this woman came and I, she looked so young and she just had this sheepish look on her face. And I said, how can I help you? And she said, OK, she said, I left my laminate in my paddle board. And then she had one of our program guides open to a page and she pointed at the photo from her band and she said, but this is me. <laughs> and I said, absolutely, please go in and have some food. <laughs> oh, well, it's a great weekend. It's a great asset to our city. And I know anticipation is always high and this year it's doubled. So um, thanks for what you do to um, help bring this to town. Oh, we, we can't wait. Neither can I, and the lineup this time, as always, but there's so many artists to be excited about, both at the national level and the state and local level. We're talking to Melissa Freeman. She is a veteran attendee of Mile of Music and works with Mile of Music to make the festival happen as well. I'm Anne. You're listening to 91.1 The Avenue, and this is our Mile of Music coverage. Mile of Music 8 takes place in downtown Appleton, August 5th through the 8th. Our Mile of Music coverage is made possible with support from Nicolay Bank. Nicolay Bank is a supporting partner of the Avenue.